The long-nosed gar, also known as long-nosed gar pike or billy gar, it's a ray fin fished in the family Lespidar. The genes may have been present in North America for a hundred million years. Wow, what a fish, y'all. So it also says here that the long-nosed gar can survive in water with very little oxygen. Their specialized swim bladder allows them to utilize air that they gulp at the surface of the water to supplement oxygen that is taken through the gills. That's crazy. And it says here that the skin is uh, skin of a gar is very tough. They're very tough uh, animals. And it also says here that um, the long-nosed gar eat a variety of small fish, including perch, sunfish, and menhandon. I think I pronounced that right. If I didn't, I'm sure you'll let me know. <laughs> but it says it hunts its prey by lying motionless, motionless in the water until a fish passes by then using its jaw to snap onto the prey and swallow it head first. Man, could you imagine being ate head first? I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't want that to happen to me. But um, it says here that they get up to about, the adults are about 28 pounds. Actually it says they can get up um, to 50 pounds. I've never seen one in real life, to be perfectly honest with you. But I thought it was a cool looking fish and I wanted to build it. It says, um, gars have few natural predators, such as uh, alligators, large fish, and birds, and cottonmouth snakes. So I guess those are the only known predators, or they have a very few amount. They say that they're, they're, the scales and the skin's super hard. They're, they're super tough fish, and they're just, they're not really preyed upon by too, too many um, other fish in the waters so uh so, average uh, lifespan of a long nose gar is up to 18 years old however the average lifespan of a male is eight years and a female is 10 years so and that's kind of crazy they don't live very very long but without further ado yes that is what we're building is a long nose gar so um let's get right into it and i'll stop rambling on now we'll just uh get on with this build i hope you enjoy and as always hit that subscribe button y'all like and uh, comment below um, I'll try to get back to your comment as soon as I can uh, but yeah send me a like comment subscribe and let's get on with this thing Look at that, that long nose on that sucker. I don't know if any of y'all could tell what this is yet, but this is gonna be a long nose gar. And I'm um, really liking the shape of him. This is the only part that kind of worries me, but I'm hoping we can drill a hole in here all the way real deep and put us a nice long uh, line tie in there. It'll really beef that up in the front. This is what we got so far. I'm gonna carve the gills in here, get our eye sockets put in here, carve the little channel for the mouth, do the, do the fin doodads. And uh, yeah, what do y'all think? Will he fish? Will he do what he needs to do in the water? I'm thinking of making him a two-piece or a three-piece. I don't know. I've been building a lot of three-pieces here lately. I might just cut him right dab in the middle and call it a day. But we'll see. I might also do a hinge system. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Let's get on with this. Let's make this dude. Let's make him swim.
getting somewhere with him. He looks pretty good. Slowly but surely, y'all. And we got little fins to make for here, too, um, on his body. This is a little fat guy, a little round, fat dude. But um, what we need to do now is, I think what I want to do is carve scales into him. So I'm going to hand carve some scales in him, and uh, hopefully I don't mess up. <laughs> we'll find out. I'm going to sand that little divot out right there because I don't like it. And uh, after we get the scales and stuff carved in him, We'll uh, look at a reference picture, make sure we're not missing anything. We'll get the little fins made. And uh, I don't know, we'll just go from there, I reckon. So other than that, fish on. So I'm doing a thing with it. Doing something with it anyway. Did I, did I ruin it when I did this? I don't think so. I think it'll look good. Just an idea that popped in my head. I was going to carve some gills and, not gills, um, I was going to carve some scales on this guy and then I got an idea of doing it with foil. But they're not the typical looking scales, as you can see. But why not make it a little different, you know? So, that's what I'm doing. What do you think? I don't know if we'll like it or not. Anyway, let's get this guy cut in half. And uh, we'll work on our weight and our hinge system. I'll show you the kind of hinge system I'm going for on this guy. And uh, yeah, whoops. If I don't break it first. But anyways. There we go. It's kind of hard to see. It'll look better once we got the paint on it. But. Let's go for it y'all. the hinge system we're doing just two pieces of wood there and then we'll take and put an individual piece in the center here and that will slide right down into that we'll drill a hole in it and yeah well, I'm sure you guys have seen this pin system before I actually kind of like it but then again I feel like there's a better way of doing this and I feel like I'm gonna do that in another video um, I probably should have done it with this but you know I don't like the the joint being glued on like that. Whether you use epoxy or super glue or whatever, I feel like if you use something like, uh, you know, we'll just get into that in another video. So guys, I'm gonna show you some of the progress we made on him. There we go. Got that uh, hinge system in there. And he moves real good. But um, what I wanna do now is get this guy sealed as best I can. And then we'll get our weights for him I want him to kind of go in the water and uh, just have 
I don't know if I want him to sit on top or go down inside. We'll find out though. We'll decide later. Um, but let's go ahead and get this pin cut. We'll go ahead and get him in two pieces. Get him sealed. Get our weights in him. Probably one here, one here. We'll make him go down. Get our hardware holes going. And we'll move on. five minute epoxy just because this stuff's super tough and I don't want them coming off there anytime soon that or should they go like that that don't look right I'm gonna do them like that that'll look good now I need to get the other one on the other side This epoxy is already setting up, so I gotta kind of move quick. Make sure they're all in the same spot. That looks pretty good. It's gonna look like something. Let them dry. We'll get the things carved in them. We'll go from there, y'all. Got carved real quick, and then um. be ready to be sealed up. I'm just using an exacto knife. where my line tie is going to go in. So. I'm trying to make a channel right here where he can go in I'll glue him in and on the very end what I'll do is I'll drill a little hole Kind of inward that way. So we can tuck it and then bit pull it out. Something like this. See how that bends down 
and that'll actually fit down in that channel where there'll be epoxy up in here too. So, yeah. Lead's hot. Let's go ahead and get this guy filled up with some lead. Look at that. So for eyes, we're going to go with these yellow guys. Look at them eyes. That looks good. Now I want to go ahead and get this dude cleared up. So let's put our clear coat on him. He's going to have some, uh, some yellow glitter in him, I think. That's what I want. The lighting in here kind of sucks, guys. That's kind of what we got going on. Let's get some clear coat put on this. Then we'll really watch this dude pop. I'm going to use some of this yellow glitter. This clear coat on it. He's looking absolutely fantastic. question is though, how will this guy do in the water? Hopefully he does good. We'll definitely find out. I mean, look at this. That's looking great. Well, y'all, that lure didn't do too bad, but it didn't do as good as I wanted him to. I wanted more of a sporadic action, I guess. I don't know. He he moves real slow to the left and right, which is all right, but yeah, I don't know. Next one will be even better. So that's a good looking lure. Right, he'll catch fish, but uh, yeah. Hey, see you in the next one.